Hello! Today we're going to look at the Windows Access Control List Modifier program, which is basically iCalcs.exe. I C A C L S. Okay, basically, sometimes programs can behave a little bit erratically or unwanted, and they could, shall we say, set permissions on files, folders, etc., that could cause adverse effects. Okay, as an example, okay, if we go to our C drive, okay, and we go to users, okay, we will see our username and all our own files and folders. Some programs might misbehave and reset the permissions and then suddenly you'll find that icons on your desktop are not visible or they're acting weird or you can't access them or it might be somewhere a lot deeper. Okay, basically what we'd want to do is reset, reset the permissions on that. Now, in this instance, we're not going to reset the entire Windows system or even our folder, our own folder. We're basically just going to do it on a test one. Okay, if we go over here, we go to PowerShell. What we need to do is open up a administrator-based PowerShell. Okay, so we type in PowerShell, right-click on it, and then run as administrator, and then you click Yes. And then that opens up Windows PowerShell. Okay, you can resize the box. Okay, and then you might want to go to the directory where there is a problem. You do that by basically cd backslash, that brings it to the root. And now in this case, we've created one called iCalc reset. So cd icacls underscore reset. That brings us in here. And basically, let's assume this is the file that has a permission problem or the entire folder has a thousand files that need to be reset. What we would do is type in iCalcs, I-C-A-C-L-S, and then we would do start. That's basically all the files within here. And then what we need to do is forward slash T, forward slash Q, forward slash C, and then forward slash reset. Okay. That will basically reset everything in that folder. Okay. You might find that you have issues where it doesn't process it. Okay. You might not want to reset the owner of certain files. Like, for example, certain files might be owned by the system or might be owned by the administrator or might be owned by trusted installer. Okay, you don't want to really reset them. However, just in case, if you want to do reset, there's a couple of ways to reset the owner. One is the graphical base way, GUI way. Okay, we can go to that same folder that we had. Okay, right click on it. Properties, security, advanced. Okay, you can change the owner. Okay, you could change the owner to administrator. Okay, check names, that's found it. Okay, and then you could also change, shall we say, the permissions on it and the effective access you could test on it. Okay, you could also add auditing, that's in another video that we've done. Okay, this is the GUI based way. Okay. And you could disable inheritance if you're finding basically the permissions from the folder above or folders above is causing problems. You could disable inheritance and this one folder is now completely new and then you set your own permissions. Okay. All right. Okay. Du -du -du. We could basically, for example, on administrators and then you click on view. Okay and then show advanced permissions this is basically being inherited so that's why it's coming like that okay if I was to disable inheritance okay okay and now basically create the permissions okay select a principal okay the administrator okay whoops 
uh, uh, illustrator check names okay click there then we could set the permissions over here okay and then advanced permissions choose which ones we need click OK click OK we could go back and enable inheritance as you saw the button over there click OK now we want to reset the owner of a file okay or folders or everything within a directory or directories etc okay and we can do it using PowerShell we do it using the iCalcs iCalcs and then we put the wildcard which is star every single file folder etc within this okay and it's basically set owner and then in this case we're gonna grant it to everyone okay do be aware that you need to actually have permissions on them to actually be able to change ownerships okay we're running as administrator and that file as an administrator and so now we can change it to everyone so basically set it owner everyone Oops, that's gone a little bit funny. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yes, it worked. It does seem to be entered again. Okay. All right. Now we can check the file to see the properties on it. Okay. Security. Edit. Oops. Advanced. And the owner is everyone. Okay, which basically means everyone. Okay, um, there are other iCalcs features that can be used. Okay. To look at all the other features of iCalcs and other, shall we say, options, we basically do iCalcs for slash question mark, and that lists all the things that it can do be done. Okay. You can set ownership, set permissions, okay, grant permissions, deny permissions, all the other things. Okay, hopefully we'll have a future video on this. Hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.